Hi friends, this is the Nether Research and in today's video I will explain you what is Lightning Network and why it is so important for Bitcoin. Let's look at network throughput. The payment network Visa has capacity of 56,000 transactions per second and on average this number is about hundreds of millions per day. Bitcoin currently supports less than 7 transactions per second, but on average this number is above 3 to 4 transactions per second, with a 1 megabyte block of course. If we use an average of 300 bytes per Bitcoin transaction, Bitcoin block would be nearly 10 gigabytes to reach uh, Visa's limits. Continuously, this would be about 500 terabytes of data sent per year. Clearly, achieving Visa-like capacity on the Bitcoin network isn't feasible today. No whole computer in the world can operate at that kind of bandwidth and storage. If Bitcoin is to replace all electronic payments in the future, and not just Visa, it would result in the outright collapse of Bitcoin network, or at best, extreme centralization of Bitcoin nodes and miners, the only ones who can afford this. There are several potential solutions. The first is to use the SQL-like database model to store and handle transactions, and periodically broadcast results to the blockchain. But in this case we have a risk with a trust to this uh, centralized database. The other option is to convert bitcoins into altcoins with high speed and low transaction fees. Actually now many do this with uh, Litecoin or Dash, but actually it is not really useful. Or increase block size limit like Bitcoin Cash uh, developers did. But, as I said before, continuous increasing of the block size limit may lead to Bitcoin centralization. Instead, using the network of micropayment channels, Bitcoin can scale up to billions of transactions per day with the computational power available on a modern desktop computer. Sending many payments inside a given micropayment channel enables you to send large amounts of funds to another party in a decentralized manner. These channels are not a separate trusted network on the top of Bitcoin. They are a real Bitcoin transactions. Micropayment channels create a relationship between two parties and allow them to send transactions in both directions without broadcasting them on the blockchain until the channel is open. Once channel gets closed, only final balances are broadcasted in a single transaction. Let's figure out how these channels work and start with a simple unidirectional channel where Alice can send money only to Bob. Also there is a multi-sig address controlled by both Alice and Bob. Before sending any coin Alice receives refund address signed by Bob and wait it for 30 days, as for example. Once Elliot gets her refund address, her funds are secured, and the worst thing that can happen is Bitcoin freeze for these 30 days. So Alice can securely send her one Bitcoin from a private address to multi-sig address. Then Alice wants to give 0.1 Bitcoin to Bob. She signs this transaction without any unlock time, by the way. If Bob signs this transaction too, he'll receive this 0.1 Bitcoin, close the channel and broadcast transaction on the blockchain. But he does not. Bob decides to wait, because channel will be opened for the next 30 days. Then Alice updates her offer and sends 0.2 instead of 0.1 Bitcoin. Because it is obviously a better deal, uh, Bob accepts it. If Bob waits uh, too long, channel will be closed and Alice will get her one Bitcoin back. 
but once the transaction is signed by both parties, it is broadcasted on the blockchain. And all blockchain nodes see one Bitcoin sent to multi-sig address and 0.2 Bitcoin sent to the Bob address and 0.8 to the Alice address. And during this Saturday period of channel validity, Alice can send as many transactions to Bob as she wants. The directional channel has very similar setup, but it differs only by the analog time value. In our previous example, we have no analog time set when Alice sends a transaction to the Bob. In case of bidirectional channel, Alice sets analog time value smaller than it was initially. So initially we had Saturday's channel validity and Alice sets analog time value to 29 days when she sends transaction to Bob. If Bob decides to pay back to Alice, so we change direction of the channel, Bob simply overrides these values and decrements analog time value. And when Alice sends new transaction to Bob, we change direction of the channel again and Alice overrides again analog time value. When transaction is signed by both parties, only final balances will be visible on the blockchain. Let's assume that Alice and Bob have opened a channel. And Bob has another channel with Carol. If Alice wants to send transaction to Carol, she can use Bob as intermediary. Alice simply sends 0.1, for instance, Bitcoin through existing channel to Bob. And Bob sends the same amount through his channel with Carol. But of course we have some trust issues in this case. Bob may leave this transaction for himself, or Carol may say that she has never received transaction from Bob. How to solve this problem in a trustless way? The solution is called pay to contract and is very elegant. Let's look how it works. Carol is receiver of Bitcoin transaction from Alice. So Carol generates some random data R. Then she runs a hash function on R to produce a hash value H. Carol sends H value to Alice. Now Alice knows H, but she can't produce R. Alice sends H value and her 0.1 Bitcoin transaction through existing channel to Bob but these funds are locked up and will be released only when Bob will produce R. Bob does the same with Carol. So Carol can pull her transaction only if she gives R Bob or broadcasts R on a blockchain. Carol of course wants her money and she tells Bob R. Since Bob also knows R and H, he can pull his transaction from Alice. This was a very primitive explanation, of course. In reality, some extra measures must be added to ensure the validity of both channels during sending R. But in general, this model allows to put hundreds of bobs between Alice and Carol. And that means you can have a channel with anyone in the world and send microtransactions without reaching the blockchain and with zero fees. Lightning Network can help uh, with Bitcoin scalability. Imagine if you can uh, buy a cup of coffee and pay in Bitcoins. No need to wait for block confirmation, no transaction fees, and block size may remain relatively small. Thumbs up if you like this video, subscribe to my channel if you want more videos, and leave your questions in the comment section below. Bye!